Why did you stop, sweetheart? S sorry, Miss Rosa, I got distracted. Here we go, I found some more music upstairs. So try this one for me. Sienna, was there a necklace here earlier? No, I, I don't think so. Are you sure? Think carefully now. No, Miss Rosa, I'm sure of it. Nora, will you come in here for just a moment? Miss Rosa, is everything okay? It's not. The necklace, my mother's necklace, what did you do with it? I'm not sure what you mean. You must have moved it while you were dusting. Bring it to me, please. Right away, ma'am. Good staff are so hard to come by. Miss Rosa, I think I might know something about... I don't hear any music. Is everything okay in here? Uh, hi, Mom. Is it 4.30 already? Gosh, I can't keep track of anything these days. What did you want to tell me? Oh, it's nothing. Thank you so much for squeezing her in today, Rosa. We really appreciate it. Oh, sure. Yeah, right, thanks. Hold on, miss. We don't want to forget about this now, would we? Did you get it? That was too reckless of you. If that idiot of a housekeeper caught you, I would let her call the police on you. Stupid little girl. You'll be more careful next time. Yes, mother. What's the matter? Spit it out. What, do you think we should return it? And then what? You think that old tart's just gonna say thank you and forget it ever happened? I raised you to be smarter than that. That woman is what we like to call a sheep. A sweet, rich woman who's never worked a day in her life. Doesn't that feel nice? Why should a sheep like her deserve so many nice things that she didn't earn? You earned this. And you know what that makes you? A wolf. Very good. I want you to do the same thing next week. Something smaller, less noticeable. What about her housekeeper? What about her? If she gets in the way, get rid of her. Who do you think she's gonna believe? A screw up of a housekeeper or a sweet, innocent girl like you? You didn't think nobody had noticed what you've done? Your panel technique has gotten better the last few months. Oh, uh, I guess. Thanks. You should be proud of yourself. You've worked hard. My mom says people that don't work hard for what they have don't deserve it. I guess that's true. Sort of. You know if you need to talk to somebody, you can always talk to me. Nora, what are you doing in here? Can't you see that you're bothering Sienna? Why don't we let her get back to practicing? Yes? Of course, Miss Rosa. I'm so sorry. What happened to the rings that were here yesterday? What do you have to say for yourself? I don't understand. Don't you dare play dumb with me. Don't I pay you enough already? What? No, you've always been generous to me and my family. But you think you can take advantage of my generosity by stealing from me? Never. I have no idea what happened to those rings. I'll bet you knew about this. Is this what you were trying to tell me last week? Did she threaten you? Well, did she tell the truth? Don't worry. If she dared to threaten you, I will deal with it. I should have known. Bring everything that you have stolen from this house back at once and I'll consider not calling the police on you. Then get out of my house and never come back. Come on, Sienna, we shouldn't be here for this. Wait, Sienna, do you mind emptying out your pockets? What? How dare you accuse a child of stealing from me? My daughter is innocent. Why should she be forced to humiliate herself? Because a thief told her to? If Sienna was so innocent, then she shouldn't have a problem proving it. Go on, my dear. What are you doing? What, you stole from that woman? How could you do such a senseless, selfish thing? Rosa should report you to the police for this. Oh, please. We both know that if Miss Rosa should be reporting anyone, it should be you. What on earth are you talking about? I know Sienna's took in your necklace for a while now. In fact, I was planning on confronting her at today's lesson. That way, she could not run away before the police got here. But that was before I seen the bruises in her arms. That's when I finally realized that you've been harming your daughter. You've been manipulating her, forcing her to steal for you. 
That's ridiculous. You don't have a shred of evidence to prove such a thing. Next time you steal something from someone, don't steal it in front of the security cameras. Miss Rosa, now what was that about calling the police? Should we follow her? Nah, she won't get too far. I took the liberty to write down her license plates. Good staff are so hard to come by these days. Thank you, Miss Rosa. I can't believe that I almost had the police come and arrest an innocent woman. What can I do to make it up to you? Money or those rings? Just name it. Well, there is something actually. Were you comfortable upstairs last night? I was, yeah. Um, got anything else for me? I think I might just have some. 